Hey guys, welcome to the video series of Data Engineering on Microsoft Azure DP203. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In today's video, we will cover the partition strategies, design, and on various uh, app services, mainly Azure Data Lake Gen 2, Snaps Analytics, and Cosmos DB. And even uh, we are going to cover the distribution strategy in Azure Snaps Analytics. I'm not going to talk about what is partitioning, what are the advantages, how it benefits, because uh, that's we all aware. So without further ado, let's jump to the partitioning in Azure Cosmos DB. So as we saw in Azure Cosmos DB video, while creating a container in Cosmos DB, we need to define a partition key. And partition key is the value by which Azure organize our data into logical divisions, or you can say the items in the containers are divided into distinct subsets that's called logic logical partitions. And you can see in the image too, like database have two containers and the first container partition key is city. And after that, these London, New York, Paris, this is the logical partitioning. And same thing for the second container of partition key is airport. And these are the logical partitioning. So this stuff is the logical partitioning. And once the data is logically partitioned, Cosmos DB engine decide where these logical partitions will be mapped to the physical partition. Or basically like yeah, you can uh, think it's like internally one or more logical partitions are mapped to a single uh, physical partition. So here you can see Lon London, New York, Paris, they are partitioned here. Same room is partitioned to this. So this is done by Azure Cosmos DB engine. We have no control over it. Uh, so next thing is avoid hot partitions. So basically we don't want to be in a situation where one uh, one of our logical partition is overflowed with um, with anything. So like basically there are two things which uh, a partition can be overflowed. The one is like the way we are storing the uh, document into the container, uh, in the, into the logical partition of the container. So as you can see here, like in this um, on the right hand side, like this partition have more document than others and this is unevenly distributed. So this is, is called, uh, this is called hot partition and uh, because it's like overflowed with the documents and we don't want, we don't want to go into a hot partition um, situation. And similarly, they, we have to avoid the hot partitions on the throughput too. So it, it, that means like, um, our query, which is hitting these uh, specific pat, like it, it, that means like our one, like our query is hitting only one uh, partition specifically more than others. So we don't want to go into that um, situation too. So always we have to make sure that we don't create hot partitions either from storage or throughput perspective. And uh, there are some best practices for partition keys while, uh, while designing. So the first thing which we need to keep in mind, like the, the partition key has to keep the data evenly distributed. As we saw, if it's not evenly distributed, we will create a, a hot, that will result into the hot partition. So, and uh, what, uh, and the second thing is like, it need to have high cardinalities. If I have a lot of values, like a lot of uh, varying values, it's really good. And, and in some situations, like you won't be able to find a partition key directly from a, uh, a field in the document, then in that case, um, you can create a composite key. That means, um, which is like basically uh, combining two keys, uh, for example, date and the ID. And uh, second thing is uh, like write the queries, which are evenly distributed too. So like write the queries in a way like uh, they they are not hitting only one partition. Uh, and uh, has to be static values, like they don't change that much. So for example, um, a partition key, uh, so for example, date, date could be a bad partition key because uh, in this case, like it's changing every day. And the other problem with it is like, let's say if somebody is, uh, uh, querying the data from one specific day, like you just hitting one uh, partition and creating hot partitions. So that's like a, depending on, uh, depending on your use case, it could be a good partition key too. So keep these things in your mind while designing, but also you need to keep in mind that 
document and uh, uh, partition like limit like uh, we need to keep in mind the um, like the document size and the partition size in mind in in mind while designing the partition key so maximum document size is 2 MB if it's more than that we have to uh, like we can't do it and the same thing with the logical partitioning it could be 20 gigs only uh, so now look 